everyone, this is Olena of Olena Roseanne. I want to start off the video by letting you guys just see my hair today. This is actually day two of the Bantu Not Out. You guys are going to see later on in this video. Just wanted you to see the difference in how full it is from day one to day two. So this is hair that's been rained on thanks to this Oregon weather. I've been fooling around with it. You know, I have some frizz in it now. But I still love it. So you guys take a good look. Bantu knot outs are really not my thing. Because they don't really come out exactly the way I want them to look. But this is not too bad. Another thing I want to tell you guys real quick. Is um, I wanted to share with you guys my sweatshirt I have. Um, it says my skin is beautiful you know you guys sometimes we need to to get a reminder of this especially being a woman of color um, and there's all this colorism going on you know light skin against black uh, dark skin we need to chill with all that I wanted to get this uh, particular sweatshirt I actually got from this girl on um, Instagram I believe her username is teas for tabby I was her very first customer. Yay me. But anyway, uh, I wanted to wear this to show folks wherever I go. I love my skin. I don't care how dark y'all think it is. I don't care how whatever you think it is. This is me. And I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it was a good message to share. And I'm about sharing messages right now because I'm still learning things and I want to share those things with you guys. Anyway, on to the video. Just sent my boys to my sister's house so I can then to knot my hair in peace. Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Monday, uh, day after wash day. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my head wrap off, my bonnet, and we're going to go ahead and see how this Bantu knot is going to come out. I don't know y'all, I've only done a Bantu knot maybe maybe two or three times and I never quite get it so you guys are gonna see this with me okay here we go I had to put a scarf on because both my boys thought it was funny that um, my hair was in bantu knots I didn't know that was I mean something that was just gonna crack them up so much but apparently it did so <laughs> yeah okay oh Bantu knots, I have about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen Bantu knots. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and use this um, Biobob oil from Shea Moisture. And I did explain about it in a few videos back, but um, this is supposed to be it's like a multitasking oil it says it's rich in uh, reparative omegas three six nine and vitamins um, it helps nourish the hair follicles scalp skin and skin to strengthen and support elastic i can't even say the word y'all elasticity oh that's a shame anyway um you do want that in your hair because you know, if your hair is not shrinking up, I know we hate shrinkage, but if it's not shrinking up, it's not really healthy. You you want it to to bounce back. If it's just staying there like it's, what is this on me? I don't know, makeup, something, I don't know. Anyway, um, if it's just staying there like it's, it's just, I mean, we know hair is dead, you know, but we don't want to just lay in there like, you know, nothing's going to happen when you stretch out your curl. It's supposed to spring back up. So anyway, enough about that. 
I had to put some of that baobab oil on my uh, fingers um, because this will help of course with shine but this will also help um, not disturb the ends of my hair too much and hopefully it will prevent as much frizz as possible some more on there. And take these down. Let's see what happens. I'm still working on my edges, y'all. Um, I have my little concoction of stuff that I use that was sent to me. Um, as I'm feeling right here, I feel my hair is not all the way dry. So ideally, you want your hair all the way dry before you take down twists, braids, bantu knots, curl rod sets. You want it completely dry. It's not dry, but oh well, we doing this video. Another thing about Bantu knots, if you're looking to stretch your hair out, this is great for stretching your hair out. Even if you're not going to wear a Bantu knot out, it's great to stretch it out. So um, if you're someone like me who's prone to uh, single strand knots, this will help out with that. Stretching that hair will help prevent that. That and of course keeping your hair properly moisturized. Oil. You can never have enough oil. Trying to do as quick as I can because so far my videos have been kind of long and um, I need to shorten them up. So, okay, so here we go. You can already see there's curl everywhere. Loving that. And you see they springing back as they should. Now to separate the Bantu knots. Here we go. I'm going to start with this middle one that's still wet. Um, try to be as gentle as possible. Mm. See, it's already starting to puff up to frizz up a little bit oh well that's part of gamble with with natural hair you really just don't know and I mean sometimes it takes years to really know how your hair is actually going to dry with certain uh, styles and with certain styling products I'm like already showed you guys what I use I did not use a lot because my, you know my hair is thin it doesn't need a lot of product at all uh, so there's that middle one y'all can see I mean you can see how puffy it is and it's starting to frizz it's okay though because you know I like frizz um, because my hair strands are thinner that frizz just helps bulk it up a little bit you know make it look a little bit more fuller and day one of any style is always going to be the flattest it's always going to be uh, you know it's going to be super defined but it's not always going to be exactly the shape you want it to be in okay here goes another middle one that is not all the way dry y'all taking a chance here but the curls look so cute to me. Let's see. There we go. See, it's time for a trim too. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do that in another video. If you guys want to see me trim my hair, let me know in the comments. And... I'll just show you guys how I, I trim my hair. But you gotta let me know. So make sure that you're putting that in the comment box. Liking this video, you guys. I know I can see when you're seeing it because the numbers go up. But I don't know if you really like what I'm doing or not. So let me know by hitting that like button. And also, there is this new bell button. Um, 
YouTube before they were really good about letting subscribers know when someone they have subscribed to has posted a new video. Now, the only way you're really going to know is if you just keep checking my channel or you hit that bell. Make it easy on yourself. Just hit the bell. I do it for the people I subscribe to because I, I'm a big YouTube fan. I have many people that I follow. Um, by going to my page, you can see. You can see what videos I have liked and which ones are my favorites. Okay, this one. You see that? I still like the way it looks with the red. Right now, it's reminding me of, you know, the curl rod sets back in the day when your hair um, was still getting pressed, but uh, let's say the rain hit, got to it a little bit, and so it started to puff up and, you know, frizz up a little bit because, you know, here in Oregon, we always got rain. So it, it kind of reminds me of that. Not that my hair was color treated back then. Mm -mm. Good old oil. And I like this oil. It's kind of, um, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin either. It's an oil that stays oil, so it's not like coconut oil where it, you know, solidifies during the winter time. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but I don't think it's as thick as olive oil or castor oil. Um, I actually would have used castor oil, but I'm out. Okay, as you guys can see right here. When I was twisting, apparently, I wasn't doing it uniformly, so, uniformly, is that even a word? Anyway, um, so I have it knotted in there. So I'm trying to be gentle, because I want to say some of this girl, and I don't want to pull out my ear. Okay, that looks okay. to get it all the way split to the top uh, okay let's see about this one back here let's see how this one is So I'm breaking them down in twos and threes. Because that's what I can see. This is not all the way dry. Some of these curls are not going to last. And, for, and I feel a puff in my future. Maybe not today, but I don't know. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday. One day I will get this Bantu knot out. Um better than what I've done in the past. I did use that gel by Madam C. Walker and I really probably should have used that on a wash and go or something because I don't really like the feel of it right now on my strands. I probably should have used my Lotta Body um, Seti Lotion because that seems to work better with perm rod sets and probably this Bantu not out and I'm just saying that based on my own personal experience okay so here's another one where you see that I don't know if you guys can see that I got my hairs all wound up together all right I did this, I uh, put the Bantu knots in when my two boys were gone to my sister's house. I was trying to hurry up and do it while I still had peace. So rushing is probably not the best thing to do. Oh, let me see if I got any more. Okay, that's it. So, this is without doing anything else to it. Mm. Okay, well, since there's kind of a natural part right there, I'm going to part it and split it up some more.
Mm, there go that Frizz. Frizz said, hello. <laughs> you thought I was going to be gone. Another thing to do is whatever, whichever way you twisted it, twist it again. And you see what that just did? That kind of cleaned it up a little bit. So I knew I, I had twisted the bantu knot this way. So I'm going to take these hairs and twist it the same way and then let it go. I may have to do that a little bit more. See that? That made it look better. Where it's all still damp, that's not really going to work so much, I don't think. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. These ones on the sides got pretty dry. But again, I don't like how the, the Madam C.J. Walker, um, I think it was the curling jelly, I don't really like how it feels on my hair. It doesn't feel smooth. Texture is a little bit different. All right. Get this side a little bit. My hair is looking extra short. I bet you anything. If I was going somewhere and people knew me, you know, people of another lighter complexion, maybe like Elena. Did you cut your hair? You know, we all go through that. I'm trying to be nice, but you know, good and well, you ain't cutting nothing. This is not cooperating. Mm -mm. So we're just going to have to tuck that under and act like that didn't even happen. Okay, so that's enough with messing with these. I really can't do nothing else to save it. So uh, I'm just going to puff it out a little bit more at the roots with this pick. I'm just getting my pick, taking it all the way down to the scalp and lifting it up Maybe one or two inches to puff it out. You see how I puffed that out already? Yeah, I could put a little gel up here, but right now I'm staying away from gel. I'm just putting um, my little product. Oh, let me show you guys. Putting this on my edges. Something I ordered from this company here, Finetti. Um, they have an Etsy store, and the lady, the lady who runs it, uh, Gifty, if I pronounce her name correctly, she's wonderful. Uh, so if you need something, you want to try something else for your edges to try to thicken it up, and you guys know I need all the help I can get, try this. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Can you see that? Yeah, it's just it's just a mixture of um, unrefined shea butter, coconut oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, hemp oil, almond oil, rosemary oil, and tea tree oil. So basically what I'm supposed to do, it comes with a little spray bottle, you know, spray it, spray my edges with a little bit of water, massage this in, and I know it's it's working, it's getting in there because my scalp gets kind of red, and that's just, maybe just because it's me, but that blood flow is rushing to those spots as I'm massaging, and so I know it's getting there, so give it time, you know. In the meantime, I only was not putting any gel on her edges. Okay, you guys. This is it. I'm not going to mess with it too much more. I'm just going to let it, you know, do what it do. 
guys let me know in a comment box if you like it what do you think um, as I said before if it was fully dry probably would have been something else um, and if I had did smaller bantu knots maybe but this is it I think uh, it'll look better tomorrow but we'll go with this All right, you guys, until next time. Oh, and remember to subscribe. Tell your friends. If you've already subscribed, tell your friends. If there's any men watching this, tell your girlfriends, daughters, cousins, aunties, spread the news. This is Olena Roseanne. I'm trying to uh, show you guys that there are naturals in the Northwest.